This regular meeting is called to order. May I request Honorable Sir Sena for the opening prayer and to be followed by CEO of our National Anthem by Audio Visual. Officer present, MSWD Paul person present, Agriculture Office Representative present, Municipal Engineering Officer present, Madam Chairman, based on our attendance, we are more than 50% of our expected participants. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. Since we are two third of this session, I now declare that this meeting is in quorum. Since everyone has a copy of our previous minutes, I will give time for you to read the previous minutes. Okay, is there any objection, clarifications, or addition? None. So, there being none, the table is open for the adoption of previous minutes. I would like to move the adoption of previous meetings last January 13, 2015. A resolution on all matters are prohibited to enter in the calendar. I second the motion. It has been moved by Honorable Justani Sarsana and duly seconded by Honorable Clara Nuba. And now the previous minute is approved and carried. And now let us proceed to the new agenda. The table is open for adoption of our new agenda. I seconded. It has been moved and seconded by the body for the adoption of our new agenda. Okay, let us proceed for the report. May I call on MDRR MC Action Officer for the updates and reports. Thank you, Your Honor. As of January 10, 17, and 19, 2017, there are already eight affected barangays, namely Barangay Maniki, Barangay Florida, Barangay Kapungagan, Barangay Katipunan, Barangay Mabantaw, Barangay Pag-asa, Barangay Sampal, and Barangay Suwa. Your Honor, as you see in the table below, there are barangay affected last January, is January 2017. Barangay Maniki, there are 900 families affected. The individual person 
Watang Psalm 109 Barangay Kapungagan The total families affected 300 families Individual persons 559 Barangay Katipunan 101 families The individual persons 501 Barangay Mapantaw 409 families The individual persons 799 Barangay Pagasa, 446 families, individual person, 810. Barangay Sampal, 10 families, individual person, 59. Barangay Suwaon, 585 families, individual person, 101, 1,100. Barangay Florida, 601 families, individual person, 600. The total affected families is 3,352 and the total person is 4,547, 4, Your Honor. Okay, thank you, sir. So, is there any question? If not, let us proceed to the next report from MSWD FOCAP person. According to the report, there are eight affected barangay due to this weather condition. And there are 3,349 families and 4,547 persons affected. In this matter, they need a relief goods to support their needs and that time. In this affected families, and person will be temporary shelter in the evacuation center in KCAS. In addition, a request a manpower to deliver a relief goods. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Is there any question? Objection, clarifications, or addition? Your Honor. Okay, Your Honor, recognize Councillor Ruba. I have some information to raise up. Um, Madam, Chair, Madam Chairman, I have some information to point out point out regarding to the report of MSWDO and MDRRMC. According to the report of MDRRMC, the total families affected is 3,352, while the data of MSWDO, the total family is 3,349. Madam Chairman, I request the focal person to answer my question. Your Honor, recognize Ma'am Monsano. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, Your Ma Honor, this data that has been given to me is from January 10, 17, 18, 2017 in the evening. And while the report of Mr. in the RRMC was on January 10, 17, 19, 2017, Maybe that is why there is a mismatch of the data. Okay, thank you, ma'am. I got it. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay. Is there any questions or clarifications? Now let us proceed to the next report from Agriculture Representative. Thank you, Madam Chair. For now, there were already 668 farmers who will affected of flooding and landslide. So, the initial damage reached to 7,851,264 infrastructure and 750,000 for the crops. As of January 10, 2017 occurrences, and expectedly at January 19, 2017 occurrences, it will increase considering to the intensity of flooding. That's all, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, sir. Is there any questions or clarifications? Now let us proceed to the report by Municipal Engineering Office. Thank you, Your Honor. Conducted a regular visit and validation of damages reported of January 10, 17, 2017. Her assessment were as follows. Tagpubo of Florida, 150,000. Adilat Toswaon, 75,000. Tuglio, Florida, 400,000. Babantao, 70,000. Kurukuno, Barangay, Florida, 45,000. That validation of damage of January 19, 2017 occurrence will be conducted to be included and progress the final report. In addition, NCTU 1, Mabantao, 
Pulong Kuling Wali, there was landslide where Cardab, Cardaba Mananas were damaged too. Another was a covered of Wiggy Wiggy, Florida, was washed out and carried away by flood on January 19, 2017 occurrence. The following of Creek at Purukuno, Florida, was caused by heavy rain, but one factor was drainage system to it was recommending the strengthening drainage system on identified places. Okay, thank you, sir. Is there any question or any clarifications? Madam Chairman, as we can see and hear the reports of MDRRMC, MSWD, Agriculture Sector, and Municipal Engineering Office that more than two barangays are affected that cause the beaches. In some infrastructure like liquid bridge and agriculture product of our constituents, and now I will move a resolution declaring the entire municipality of Kapalang under a state of calamity due to the series of flooding incidents. Whereas, the municipality of Kapalang, Tabal del Norte, has experienced at least three flooding incidents in a span of 10 days on January 10, 17, and 19, 2017, due to weather disturbance which triggered flash floods and landslides. Whereas such flooding occurrence caused damages to agricultural crops and infrastructure and evacuation of residents that come from 863, 3418, and 3841 families respectively who were living along the river bank and estimated damages crops 7,851,260 and infrastructure of 750,000. However, no no casualties and injuries reported. Whereas infrastructure damages are paved in road shoulders, destroy concrete reinforced pipes, and bags of culverts, matted roots caused by landslide, washed out, overly gravel on roads due to un uncrowned root shoulder in scoring. Whereas other reported damages reported by MDRRMCR, re river Mendery in Barangay Simong that threatened to destroy the concrete bridge approach, and the MDRRMC recommended to rechannel the, the river, current state to prevent damage to the bridge in the succeeding flooding. And a huge landslide in Sitio Anilipot in Barangay Kupitan, the covered Kapalong River and impounded the water until drain in other watery passing through the cornfield and coconut farm. Whereas, on January 20, 2017, the Municipal Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council passed Resolution Number 001-2017 declaring the Municipality of Kapalong under the state of calamity. It was been moved by Honorable Maria Jeanette Panos and seconded by Honorable Justine Sersena. Is there any discussion or recommendation or any addition? If none, the motion is approved and carried. I think we are all done. The matters we need to discuss in this session. The table is open for any announcement. The next session will be on January 24, 2017 at 8 a.m., Madam Chairman. Okay, thank you, Miss Secretary. Madam Chairman, since you are done of our discussion of its almost 12 noon, I move for the adjournment of this regular session. How will be seconded? Seconded. It was been moved and seconded by the body. And now the meeting is adjourned at exactly 12.05 in the afternoon.